In this video I'm going to show you how to import transactions from your bank account and match them up with a relevant BrightPearl entry. You can also use this process to create new entries in BrightPearl that did not previously exist. To make sure your accounts are correct, you should reconcile BrightPearl with your bank accounts on a regular basis. This will highlight any errors sooner rather than later. There are two ways to do this. The first one is importing transactions from your bank account and matching them with BrightPearl, and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. And there's another video that shows you the second method, which is reconciling using start, end dates, and balances. You can use either, and some people even do both. So we're going to cover creating a CSV file and importing it. We're going to see how to match entries to existing transactions, how to create new transactions from imported entries, and then how to match a single bank deposit to multiple open invoices. The first thing you need to do is export transactions from your bank account and then create a CSV file. It's a simple file with three columns, the date, the reference, and the amount. Make sure the date is in the format of year, month, day, and the amounts are positive and negative numbers in one column. Make sure the relevant bank account is set as one that you want to be reconciled. If you don't see it in the menus, then edit it from the bank account screen. Go to Accounting, Bank, Import Transactions and choose your account. Click to Import Transactions and upload your file. You'll see all your imported transactions on the left hand side. No changes have been made to your accounts at this point. When you click an entry on the left hand side, BrightPearl shows you all the unmatched entries for the same value on the right hand side, so that you can choose which one to match it against. The most likely matches, using a combination of date, reference and contact name, is shown at the top of the list. If you click a deposit into your bank account, then bank receipts, sales receipts and uncleared sales invoices will be shown on the right. If you click a payment or withdrawal from your bank account like we've got here, you'll see bank payments, purchase payments and uncleared purchase invoices. Here for example we've got an unmatched bank payment. Click one on the right hand side to mark it as matched. If the two transactions differ by more than 24 days, it might not be the right one, so you'll just get a confirmation pop-up. On the bank activity screen for this particular account, you can now see that this transaction has been matched. And on the journal correction screen, you can no longer edit this line. If you choose to match an unpaid sales invoice with a bank deposit, a new sales receipt transaction will be entered into your accounts in exactly the same way as if you'd done it manually from the Allocate Payments screen. The date and the reference on the imported entry will be used. This works in exactly the same way as withdrawals and purchase payments for suppliers. You can also create new bank payments, receipts or transfers from imported entries. Just click the relevant one on the left hand side and choose to create a new transaction on the right. If it's a bank deposit, you'll be creating a bank receipt or transferring money in from another bank account. Here for example, we've got credit card funds clearing into our bank account, so let's create a bank transfer in and choose the credit card account. BrightPearl uses the reference from your imported entry on the accounting transaction. On the general ledger report, we can see the sales receipt and the bank transfer that we've just created. Once you've matched all of your imported transactions, check for anything on your bank activity report for the relevant date range that's not yet been matched. If it's not in the imported file, it's quite possibly a mistake or has been entered with the wrong dates. It's quite possible that a customer will be paying for multiple invoices with a single check or bank transfer. On the left hand side of the matching screen, we've got a deposit of $20 from a customer. On the customer's financial history, I can see that they've got two separate invoices that both add up to $20. We'll use the bank deposit to clear these invoices. Since BrightPearl looks for an exact amount match, you won't get anything on the right hand side when you click the $20 entry. So we need to go into the Invoice Allocation tab. Here you can either search by invoice amounts, invoice reference, or a company name. When you find an invoice you want to include in the match, click it. This invoice will stay here while you search for other invoices, selecting them until you reach the total of the bank deposit. When it all matches, just click Match Selected and the relevant sales receipt transactions will be created in BrightPearl, marking those invoices as cleared. Note that part paid invoices do not show, it's only fully unpaid invoices. This process works in the same way for supplier invoices and bank payments or withdrawals. If you make a mistake, you can unmatch a transaction 
either from the left hand side by searching for match transactions and then clicking unmatch or you can click the matched icon in the bank activity report to unmatch it. So to sum up, what we've seen in this video is how to create a CSV file and import it, how to match bank entries to existing transactions, how to create new transactions from imported entries, and then how to match a single bank deposit to multiple open invoices. Also have a look at the other video which explains an alternative method of bank reconciliation, a process which is often used when you can't produce a CSV file and are working from a paper statement. And that takes us to the end of the video where we see how to reconcile a bank account by matching transactions with a CSV import.